Hey, hey if it's you. And it's me. It must be Tom and TV. It's the greatest night of the year. Of 2023. Come on, forget about Christmas. Here in Orlando, Florida at HHN. Halloween Ooh. Horror Night, opening night. We are real early and we've got a reservation right now to get a little something in our stomach before the fun starts at Finnegan's. Come on along. Where else would you guys rather be than watching Tom May TV? So it's 2.46 and the people are lined up at the front gate to be first already. We have arrived at Finnegan's and this won't be the first line we uh, stand in all night. Check out Rhonda May's outfit. Oh yeah, it's uh, so the uh, the forecast is not good, but what else is new, right? Okay, so it's like this. Look at Rhonda. Don't don't touch that salad. I haven't shot it yet. So this so oh yeah. So and I've got the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see it. These are deep fried. So there's the Dublin chicken sandwich, and yeah, that's a uh, those are called Scotch eggs. Oh. Since we're going to Ireland, you ought to know that, Rhonda May. Those are Scotch eggs. She's got the chicken salad. So that's what's going on. So I need to get something to eat because so far I've had a shot of whiskey, a sip of water, and a sip of a Schmidix beer in the Irish uh, So uh, I'm not having a good start. Or maybe I'm having a great start. Okay, well, it wouldn't be HHN without this. This reminds me of two years ago when we absolutely got soaked. So we're waiting to get in the Today Cafe Scare Zone, and I am guarding the scanner, trying to keep it dry. It's still getting wet. But... Uh, Everyone's hunkered down. Oh my gosh, everyone say hi. Say hi to yourself. Uh, all right. <laughs> we are, anybody saying this was great is a liar. Nice. Well done. Yes, every time. Okay, so we made it into position in the stay and scream and they're starting to uncover some of the things. There's a there's a body over there in Madame the Seal's uh, wagon. They're not quite done. Now it's been pouring forever and it's just soaked. So the chances that Dr. Oddfellow is gonna come out up there, I think are very very slim. So we'll see what happens on the main street here in just a minute and see what we get for opening scare mics. There is a possibility, Rhonda May, there may be no opening scare monies at all. So uh, wouldn't that be something? I've never seen that. Like, they they got to send somebody down. You know, we'll see. So the who's who of uh, vloggers, we got Rick Flex. Mr. Rick himself is here. Just to show you what I'm doing here, I can't put the phone out there too far because I'm trying to keep everything dry. But uh, two years ago, it was this bad. And uh, it's wet, it's stinking wet. I am so wet from the waist down that I just gave up my, my sneakers are full of water. I mean, it's just like a, like a squish sandwich every time I walk. So there you have it. We're gonna make the best of this. Here we go. Okay, we've just got moments to go and I'm noticing Blood Moon Dark Offerings over there has a 10 minute wait. And there's nobody in line. Come on, I knew these uh, waiting things were a complete farce. Come on, people. And so it begins with Dr. Oddfellow's whistle. We don't think he'll be coming out on the tower because Hear my voice, Halloween Horror Nights. I am Dr. Oddfellow. I've been watching you. For years I've seen you shaking in fear, yet pegging for more. You gladly worship those who have stood here before me. Doctors, directors, even clowns. 
But I don't want your worship. I want what you want. So what is it that you want? Fear, horror. I promise these will engage your soul and prepare you for something more. Power, immortality. That is what I'm offering. Enter now as this horror night begins. Okay, so there's no Dr. Oddfellow and no scare actors out at all. Just, just a mass horde coming down through. That's all you're gonna see. The masses. Now, no opening scare ones. Well, that was that was disappointing, but you know. You can't put you can't put Dr. Oddfellow up there when it's when it's that wet. So there you go. HHN is open. And here comes the gang to smell that fog. And uh, you know it's calm because uh, if you run, it's pretty slick out there. We've seen a couple of people fall. And uh, that's what uh, could happen to you, so you got to be careful. All right. So I think that's enough mass horde for you. Let's get out there and see what we can see. Here's Rick going live. We always have a tendency to stand next to Rick almost every year. Okay, so here's... Madame Basile's wagon, and they put some poor unfortunate soul up there. Although, you can't climb, and the triggers are probably active, but can't really work up in there. It's just until, I mean, that is so slick up there, everybody, that until, uh, it stops raining and it gets really super dry. There's no way we're going to be able to do anything with scare actors or anything. Okay, so here's what was in those boxes. So you open them up and it had all kinds of... All kinds of decorations in the travel trunks. It looks like a... Uh, you know, like a fortune teller's trunk. Like that's Madame Basile's trunk. Pretty cool. So we're walking through, and uh, oh man, this is the zodiac, and uh, there's just nothing to see. Now, here's a poor, unfortunate soul. Poor guy. But there's nobody to, you know, to work the thing, because I mean, just look at so slippery that uh, no fire no nothing but you know hey in about an hour it's probably gonna stop raining maybe an hour and a half and then maybe they get this dried off and some people will be able to scare act for us we'll see it's better at night anyways they put a very large piece out in the middle and uh, here's something new that we haven't seen that wasn't out here pre Halloween Horror Nights. Very cool, look at this. What's the deal there? Do not climb, well, no problem. There's a scare actor dressed as a security guard. <laughs> I was terrified. Right there. This point. 
poor guy. Just can't get enough to drink. Holy cow. Yeah, that'll put the gut on you. Oh boy. So I'm gonna shoot this a little bit, and I don't know why, because there's no scare actors, but they do have the soundtrack going. So sounds very jungly with the jungle drums and the fog and the gang coming through. But uh, the decision has been made, and rightfully so, that we're just not going to put scare actors out there in costumes, you know, they can barely see out of on wet pavement and have a bunch of slips and falls. It's, uh, it's the right decision. But here's breaking news. The rats are back. You know, there's nothing like a good toasted rat. I mean, they are... They are delicious. So, you know, there's very unique food at Halloween Horror Nights. Rats -a -lissus. Rats -a oh, hey, the eyes light up in the bats. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, they, that's going to be much better once it gets really dark. Okay, Rhonda May, so... Yes. There's no scare actors out, and we're just going to shoot yeah. scare zones tonight. And a bunch of B-roll and a bunch of stuff. But there's nothing, so... We are going to go to a house to kill some time. So we're Universal Monsters, uh, Paris Addiction... We're gonna get a scare on right away. Here we go. So I was listening to some Universal employees, and they were saying that opening night last year they let a certain amount of people in, and I didn't catch what the number was. But this year they're letting twice that number in, so there's it's gonna be twice as busy. So probably not tonight though. Ah, no, I think everybody's here. I don't think anybody cares. But um, I would say this, if you're on the fence about buying an express pass, you shouldn't be. Get the express pass. Yeah. Wait. Universal Monsters Unmasked Love. Okay, Rhonda May. Universal Monsters. Paris edition. Pretty scary in there, guys. That is that was that was very good. It's gonna be tough to beat that thing. We'll see. Now we heard from uh, John who was in Stay and Scream that he thought that Universal Monsters by far was the scariest one here. And he had been all through them all the night before. So uh, I got to tell you, well, we've been coming to this for I don't know how many years. There were some dang good scares in there. Oh, yeah. The Hunchback, the Phantom, the, the, the guy uh, pulling from the top. Oh, there. man. It was, it was, uh, don't, yeah, okay. Don't, don't tell him. But uh, awesome house. Yeah. I mean, I got to give that a nine. Oh, we're going to rate them? Well, we of course we got to rate them. I got to give Universal yeah. Monsters Unmasked okay. a 9 because that is going to be very difficult okay. to beat. But I, I I leave a number so they... It's too soon for me to tell, so I don't know yet. Oh, my gosh. You kept running through. You didn't even want to oh, see it. Oh, I've seen it. quite a bit. I had my eyes open through the whole... What's house. up? Oh, man. I did not close them that once. Oh, I'm so proud. I might have walked a little bit fast. Okay, we've got some scare actors. We finally got some. Watch out for that dude.
<laughs> Strange but magical creatures. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I totally got that on camera. <laughs> That couldn't have been bad. <laughs> that was so awesome. You gotta watch where you're going. You gotta watch where you're going. That's the lesson here. We must watch where we're going. Gosh, look at this thing. It's like a giant cricket. the dark zodiac scare zone that was creepy 
very cool. I love that. So many characters in yeah. there. I mean, I haven't seen this many scare actors at Universal in, in quite a while. And they're creepy. Very nice. Yeah, so they did a really good job on wow, that. Wow, I mean, it's just awesome. And they're more active with us, too, I feel. They come right up at you. They love a camera. They yes. know what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, everybody, punch bug, flower power. I just slugged you in the shoulder. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, well, this wasn't a uh, concert t-shirt booth. It looked like a little bit of food. Scare actor's just not out right now, guys. Beautiful. Real nice shot, that's pretty awesome. Hey, that lady's pretty awesome too. Way better than that bug. Okay, I've reached Shipyard 32. Shipyard 32, you ready, babe? Oh, yeah, let's go in. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> Rhonda scared again.
coming out, whatever he is. Probably a good thing for us. So if you watch a bunch of shorts, there's a body up there, but I thought it was going to have an animatronic and come jumping out at you. Nah, it does not. Nothing happening. The shipyard 32 is insane. The Peacock Halloween Horror Bar. Let's go see what's happening. Pretty vibrant, although there's not a whole lot of people back here. They're in houses in the scare zones. We're getting a few scare actors out now. Peacock Halloween Horror, all your fears live here. Oh boy. Shoot that one sideways so it's a thumbnail. put Chucky on the old tube, relax, and uh, watch Chucky take care of people. Yikes, there's Get Out. It's just Peacock streaming. Pick a movie. So the Peacock bar is pretty hard. It's uh, popular. Let's see if I can get in there. They've got, uh, you know, some specialty drinks. There. And some premium cocktails also. But that's what's back here, Dan. It's happening. Come on back. So, David, what's going on? David as pumpkins is taking it one day at a time. That's right, David. Any questions? No, but uh, I. Now, watch this! Edward Scissorhands lives. Preguntas? Yes, the secret entrance to Diagon Alley. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Let's go see if we might be able to find some Death Eaters. Are they out? Let's go find out. Black all lit up, looks fantastic over there. 
That is awesome. Well, we went through Diagon Alley. No uh, Death Eaters were out. And we're currently going through, uh, we're going by Duff Beer right now, and there's no sign of the Megan Horde either. So this rain has really uh, put a damper on things, as they say. But we'll make the best of it. We might uh, go in some houses and get a jump on what we were going to start tomorrow night. Okay, we're up to the new bar. It's back by Animal Actors. Animal Actors Premium Bar. Twisted Taters this way. Love those columns. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now, it's busy, oh, wow. but maybe not as busy as I thought it would be. Well, you know, I do like how they got the crowd back here instead of out there. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That year, really helps, that doesn't it? hot mess up there. Helps with the traffic yeah. big time. I really like that. Yeah, not too crazy back here. Yeah, so what we were looking for is uh, we're back here at the bar, Animal Actors. They have ghoul juice and electric death and stuff, but what we were interested in is it do that? this, which is a real drink. Oh. And they make it out of those bottles right there. They didn't do the And then you can get something decent because you know those over the years have been not good. Hey, we're at the bar and we got bar drinks. Double Tito's. No ghoul juice for us. Double Tito's yeah. and uh, what did we get? Uh, cranberry. Cranberry. And uh, that's a real drink. So right here. That's kind of. Happy HN. Yeah. H H <laughs> Double H M thirty two. Yeah. My first green for my guys. <laughs> it's just one. It's here. Okay, I gotta show you the the bat eyes up there. There's bats, vampire bats looking at us. They're everywhere inside the jungle of doom. Look at the Moss Man. The Moss Man was in Nettlewood Cemetery. It's kind of the same type of deal. But uh, he blends right in and it is, this guy can scare some people, there ain't no doubt. Blends right in and all of a sudden he's on you. Awesome.
The man himself. He is here. What happened there? You're taken by surprise again? why you don't take kids to HHF. Okay, since we're dressed for it, Rhonda Mae, yeah. we're I going to, to the... I want to see my house. Going to see the exorcist yeah. right now. Let's do this. Daniel, favorite house, what was it? Really, wait, this one, all the way. Alright, what was your favorite house? Exorcist. <laughs> Woo! -wee, you guys! Just through the exorcist. That's scary. That's number 10. Most scary so far. That was a 10. I won't be able to talk it was about good. because I screamed. So she screamed hard. and That's ran. That's scary. That is some the ex so now you got to see the movie. Yeah, yeah. Scary. Yeah. Scary as he double hockey yeah. sticks. That was good. <laughs> Holy cow, that was scary. She just commented and said that was, that was good. scary. They were scared the way the out of us. <laughs> Where else would you guys rather be than watching Tom May TV? So I don't know what's going on, this HHN, but we've been in two houses, and they scared the bejesus out of us both times. That now, one, that one scared me. we've been to many, many, many houses. But it's the exorcists, man. I they, mean, there's some scary stuff going hey, on. Hey, they are kicking butt. They are kicking butt. It's you awesome. Gotta come. It's gotta come. Nice,
There's so many scare actors, it's hard to keep track of them all. Oh yeah. Don't doesn't help me. Holy cow, I can't see a thing. All right, why not? We're gonna chuck it. Let's do this. Okay, we're just out of Chucky. You know what? How many Chuckies are in that house? Lots of Chuckies. A lot oh. of little Chuckies with red hair. Mostly little. And I don't like that little Chucky doll. But as far as houses go. He's a bad boy. <laughs> as far as houses go, I got to give it a five. Nah. Yeah. Not my favorite. I haven't seen them all yet, but you know what? I can't rate Chucky yet, but I will. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a good house. No. That's gonna do it from here, gang. It is, and I'll tell you what I had to do to end my night here. I had to get me a walking taco. Walking tacos, darn, they're good. And they're, they're good. They're big. They're bigger than what they were during our little test. Yeah. Tasters, whatever you wanna call them. But great first night. We'll oh, be yeah. back tomorrow night yeah. to do all the houses. Where else would you rather be? Than watching some Tommy TV. Thanks for watching.